Hey, I'm with Coach Vernon here, and, and Ray's hiding out over there. She's photobombing, but that's okay. But look, you had three players. Uh, I think Takiyo was one of your top players. You got 12, 9, and 8, and then you had three other players that had eight points. I mean, you spread your points all over the place today. How, what, what was your feeling about what you, you won by a whole bunch of points? Yeah, I mean, we're supposed that's how we're supposed to play. That's Northwood women's basketball. We don't really rely on one or two girls to do all the points. We feel that. Uh, to have a great team, we got to have everyone involved, and it's really, it's, it's really difficult as an opposing coach to try and prepare for five or six girls who can score as opposed to one or two. So they played exactly the way we wanted to play. And you got to play your entire bench this game. Entire bench was a great win for seniors to go out on top of the win on senior night. And I noticed some of the girls when they when they scored, the entire team, the entire bench cheered them on. So who were some of those players? Uh, Everyone's supposed to do that. I, I mean, I think everyone's supposed to contribute. You know, we are we, we pride ourselves, and even though we might not be in the game or in a drill, we can always do something to make the drill or the game better. And they bought into that, as you can see. Uh, it's still early on. This is what your third or third fourth game. Ga third game. Yes, and what are you seeing that's really good to continue? What things? Of course, the coaches always feel you need to work on something. We can score, but we got to make some layups. Um, and then our defense really needs work on. You know, we can play better defense. We're not moving our people enough. All right, and your next game is up against who? We have, oh, good, goodness gracious, who do we have? Chapel Hill. East Chapel Hill, maybe okay. Tuesday. No, we have Northern Durham Wednesday. Northern Durham Wednesday. There you go. Yep, a lot of changes. See, I should know that, but yeah, the thing, things <laughs> can be changed. Change. You got any questions for him? Yeah, what, uh, what specifically in the second quarter works? I mean, I think half your points came in those eight minutes. <laughs> well, I hate playing zone, mm -hmm. and uh, much much uh, against all my beliefs, we went zone and we I, seen, I think we picked it up when we went to 2-3. We were more active and we just brought more energy. And that's why I told the girls, when they bring the energy, um, they can be a really good team. But we just need to learn how to sustain that the whole game. And um, in, in terms of three-point versus paint, it seems like the balance was there. Um, I know. Is there a balance that you want to get to? Do you want to be a little bit more one or the other? It seemed like both of them yeah. were successful. To I personally feel like we shot way too many threes. I don't know the percentages offhand. But we're settling for jump shots. I'm a coach who wants to get as close to the basket as possible, get inside, make layups, get fouled, go into the basket. Um, but we'll work on it. We'll work on it. And uh, just specifically on the seniors, um, the four years in this program, well, what have they meant, um, each of them a little bit? You know, know Ray McClarity, uh, she, she's our defensive stopper. She was really bought into that role, discarding the other team's best player every night. Um, Jamaria Fawcett, she doesn't play a whole lot. Um, however, she has the biggest heart on the team, and the, the kids have voted her best teammate the past two years. She's the one who's vocal and getting everyone amped up on the bench, um, and, and she's really important for our success. And then Jillian McNaught, I mean, Jillian does everything I ask of her. She comes in, dies on loose balls, she tries to get good rebounds and be strong on the inside. And she made a couple big baskets in that second quarter when we went on that run. So they're all, and they're really great kids. So kudos to them and their parents for, for raising great girls. And Ray and Jillian are multi-sport uh, yeah. players because both of them played volleyball too. Volleyball, yeah. So that's everything. Thank you. Appreciate it, guys.